Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, here I have a beautiful tray. It's a vintage tray. It's for fragrances or whatever you want to display on it. But I purchased this a few years ago on the secondhand market to display my fragrances and I've been using it ever since. So today I'm, I was inspired to do this video uh, by my lovely friend Tammy, uh, who is also a content creator, and she does trays religiously. Um, I used to when I first started my fragrance um, journey, but lately I have not been doing that as much. I've been just going to the closet, picking out a uh, fragrance and wearing it for the day, putting it back. But I decided, because she inspired me to do a tray, I'm going to do a spring tray and we're going to start off with the one that I actually wore on Mother's Day and I usually always wear this fragrance so if you girls and guys are regulars and you watch my videos religiously then you'll know which fragrance it is and I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer it is none other than my Hen Halligan's Elizabethan Rose and you'll see quite a dent in this. This is a stunning, stunning rose fragrance that I have had now probably for about two years. The ingredients open with a hazelnut. Then it has a beautiful tangerine. So the hazelnut is kind of a, a little bit of a sweetness. The tangerine gives it that lovely uh, freshness, then almond and cinnamon, you can detect the cinnamon, and then the middle notes open with May Rose, Rose Oil, Rose, Red Lily, Plum, Black Currant, Musk, Vanilla, and then it has like a woody, um, woody notes dry down. Uh, but to me, this just gives off vibes of a English rose garden after the rain and the rain is still on the petals of the rose it's absolutely stunning it's sweet it's fresh and you could wear this as a signature fragrance you could wear any time of the and year as we are on the theme of penhaligans we're going to go into another really beautiful one for spring let's just get her set up here pretty and this is Penhaligon's Artemisia Fresh Nectarine. And then it has uh, that real greenness right away. It opens with nectarine and then it just goes straight into green. It also has violet vanilla. Then it has this beautiful like a green tea with jasmine coming in then apple, musk, sandalwood, and amber. Also fresh enough that you could wear it in the summer. Now, I wanna say that this gives off vibes to me, although it's not as sweet. This is not sweet really at all. It just has a very subtle hint of sweetness. But this gives off, um, and it's not like it at all, <laughs> but still by JLo, because I find Still by JLo quite green and it's got that T note in it. So I think what's happening is that the T note is coming out in this fragrance and it reminds me of Still. So if you like Still, you may like this, but it's different. <laughs> anyway, that's another one for my spring tray. So those two look beautiful together. I'm kind of hesitant to be using air because she's almost finished, and that is Greedy Dior uh, by Christian Dior. Now, this is a beautiful fragrance. This is another rose, guys. Beautiful, fresh spring rose. Very vibey to this one, where it has a lot of green in it. It also has a lot of moss. So that moss in there is is just it comes out like oh, I like earthy very very earthy fragrance with a beautiful green rose and that's all I'm going to say about that one that's my interpretation of that one and I do need to get myself another bottle of that 
soon. Serge Lotton's Datour Noir. This reminds me, don't ask me why, but this reminds me of fresh spring daffodils. Daffodils that have just opened up in the morning. That's what this reminds me of. I don't know why it reminds me of daffodils because there's no daffodil in it. It's got vanilla, almond. You can really smell the almond. Like you, it, you really pick out the almond. But there's a greenness in there that isn't in the notes. There's tuberose, white floral, sweet. It's fruity, it's coconut, and it's nutty. And I get the nuttiness and I get the coconut, but I get a daffodil. And that does not make any sense because no one else who owns this fragrance gets daffodil. So that's all I'll say about that one. Now the next one I'm going to talk about is um, from Dossier. And you will see there is a nice dent in that. I am using it. It's called Floral Grapefruit. It's inspired by Chanel's Chanso Tundra. This is beautiful. I mean, like, I absolutely love this. It's perfect for spring. Um, it opens with grapefruit, which is something I absolutely love. It opens with pear. Blackcurrant is another note I absolutely love. So it's really, really fresh and fruity on the opening. It has jasmine and lilac musk and then a cedar wood dry down. It smells like Chanso Tundra. Uh, my sister uses it and that's all I can say about that. Longevity is amazing. Absolutely love it. So we're going to talk about another dossier while we're on the subject called Fruity Honey. I've put a little tiny bit of a dent in that but it's it's not that old. I haven't had a chance to use it because to me it's very much a spring fragrance and this one oh oh it's so good it is inspired by um a joe malone nectarine blossom and honey it's very fresh and very fruity with black currant like green leaves very very green this would put me on the same level as Greedy Ore because of the greenness in that one and how spring, now these are all in my opinion extremely spring summer fragrances because they're all light, they're not overly sweet. So what else is in that one? Um, black currant of course, green leaves, honey, nectarine, peach and vetiver. This is a beautiful fragrance. I'm going to be wearing this a ton this spring and summer. So that's another one. And of course, the magnetic cap. Look at that. You can lift it up by that. So that is another one for the spring tray. I hope this tray is going to look okay. Uh, next one is spring, but more, yeah, spring and summer nights. <laughs> That's my eternity. My eternity is a full on, it's got like everything that you can imagine in it. You could throw the book at this fragrance, it's got so much in it, but it's primarily a carnation, very, 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 very floral fragrance. It has every flower that you can imagine in it. It has lilac, it has jasmine, it has tuberose. It has, like, I couldn't even make the list. If you go to Fragrantica and you check the list, this is full of flowers. It's a beautiful summer fragrance in the evening and outside. It can be a little bit overpowering. Um, perfect for spring and that cool, cool breeze. Um, it goes back to my signature fragrance uh, when I was in my 30s back in the 90s. It, it's hard to believe that that was 30 years ago. Um, honestly, I just can't believe it. But yeah, I still love this fragrance to this day and will continue to have it in my collection and use it. Hot Couture. Uh, this is another oldie but a goodie. This opens up 
with a beautiful raspberry note. The raspberry dries down into a smoky, fruity, sweet fragrance. And I love this one. This, this is my go-to for concerts, outdoor activities. Absolutely love this fragrance. So last but not least is one that I almost decluttered, Sophia by Sophia Vergaro. I have used it, but most of this, I will be honest, was used when I first got it. Very sweet, fruity floral. It's a Chypri, pear, tangerine, pink pepper, tuberose, orange blossom, and vanilla. Um, now the sweetness is, I guess, the vanilla. Uh, but the pink pepper is very subtle in it, and it just softens it enough to make it not too cloying. Very, very similar to uh, Chanel uh, Coco Mademoiselle, uh, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, and also in other people's opinion. So, uh, yeah, so I'm leaving this one out for spring as well. And last but not least, and this is an extra bonus because it wouldn't be a video if I didn't include a vanilla fragrance. Uh, primarily because not a lot of these I'm going to wear at night. Let's face it, these are freshies. These are going to wake me up. These are going to give me a, a wow effect. So I want to come down in the evening. I want to relax. I want something vanilla. I want something, some, something dreamy and sexy and... And also that will help me get into my slumber mood. And it's Want by Desquared. This is a discontinued fragrance, so I'm sorry for you gals who don't like to um, hear about um, discontinued fragrances. This is Madagascar Vanilla on steroids, 10 times over. This is absolutely stunning. Look at the color of this juice. It opens, I have Want Ginger, and then I have the Want Original. So the Want, this is the Want Original, and it does open with a very slight little uh, hint of ginger, but the other one is full on blast in your face ginger. This one has got a little bit of pepper, uh, mandarin orange to keep it from being too sweet and cloying. Um, and then it's got heliotrope, Damask Rose, Neroli, Madagascar Vanilla, Vanilla Absolute, and Woody Notes in the Dry Down. And this is my second bottle, and probably last, because it's very expensive to buy now. But yeah, this is what I wear to bed at night. It's comforting, it's sexy, it's beautiful. Men love this. It's Vanilla on steroids. So guys, my tray for spring. Let's see if we can get it to look a little bit more eye appealing. Put these to the front and this one and this forward. Um, put that one to the back and then bring these forward and then there. How does that look <laughs> okay guys this is my tray for spring thank you tammy for inspiring me uh thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed my video i'm going to stick at this tray and i will tweak it a little bit once the summer comes but a lot of these fragrances will be used right into the summer i know these dossier fragrances are going to be used well this one in particular because it is my favorite from Dossier um, and their Cherry One, their Lost Cherry One is also another of my favorites. This one could definitely become uh, one of my favorites. And the nice thing about the Fruity Honey is this lasts longer than um, than the Jo Malone. So, so that's an added bonus. So I've got that going for Thank me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on my next video. And as I always say, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. Bye!